Hello. Right, so someone told me my book review is too long. So, great women who changed the world. Nine out of ten. Waterstones, six ninety nine. Good. Now, you people that haven't got the time to listen to me rambling on, you can leave. You have the information. It's all you needed to know, isn't it? Brav. Don't want to listen to me rambling on. Then don't listen. I'm not making you. So anyway, for the people that actually give a crap, um, this is called Fantastically Great Women Who Changed the World. It's by Kate Pankhurst. Amazing. This is a must for anyone who has a little girl. No. Anyone who has a little girl or a little boy who you want to expand their world, right? I'm not quite sure why I couldn't find a fantastically great men who changed the world. Because I think, you know, men have done some serious interesting stuff as well. But hey-ho. I think it's because there's still sort of that equality, like, issues in certain industries. But I will save that for another day. I might do some rants. I've got a lot of rants built up inside. So um, this book's really cool. It literally gives two pages to various women in history. So we've got things like, let's have a look, we've got Coco Chanel, Mary Curie, Mary Anning, Mary Seacole, lots of Marys. Um, Rosa Parks, Sacagawea, that's um, an Indian Native American, Agent Fifi, who I had never heard of until I read this book, and I've learnt, I've learnt stuff from here, so each person gets two pages, so Coco Chanel, and it just gives you just generalised facts about that, that person and what they did, so like one of my favourites, Mary Curie, tells you all about her, um, and then I like the way that it has artists, fashion designers, um, scientists, doctors, paleontologists, uh, and people that are just like, women that are just like, no, screw you, I'm going to do it. You can't tell me that I'm no good at this. I'm going to do it. So, for example, uh, Mary Anning. Okay. She's Brit. Lovely Brit. Born in Limes Regis. Don't know where that is. I kind of want to go there now. And basically, she discovered dinosaurs. She's a paleontologist. She she discovered a dinosaur, who, which I can't say the word, Ichthyosaurus. Dude, I'm not a paleontologist, so it doesn't matter that I can't pronounce it. And um, it just tells you, like, this is what she discovered. However, back in the day, people wrote books about it, but they never actually mentioned the fact that she was a chick that found it because, you know, she was a girl and she was from a poor background. So now she's getting like the proper credit, but she's a bit, you know, when was she born? Oh, in the 1700s. So it was a bit of a while ago. She's not really getting any credit now, is she? Let's face it. Um, so we've got Agent Fifi, who was um, another British chick. We're doing it, the Brits. Uh, during, where are we? 1940, so World War II, um, she was studying in Paris. And basically, um, she was captured by German soldiers and stuck in a prisoner of war camp for British women. And uh, she was like, nah, ate my cup of tea. Sorry, not having it. Busted out, went back to Britain. So the British were so impressed, like the government was so impressed that she managed to escape, that they basically were like, do you want to try and train some spies? Sorry about that. I had to pause the video to sneeze. I've got a bit of a cold. Um, so they asked her, you know, do you want to try and, like, trick some of our spies? Because if they tell you stuff, then they're definitely going to tell, like, German soldiers things. So, yeah, she did that. And um really good book, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. And I think anybody who wants to teach their child, boy or girl, about not gender stereotyping, this is a good book. So um, it's by uh, Kate Pankhurst. Really colourful, really bright, and it's it's not actually that boring. They've kind of, like, spruced it up with some cartoons and made it nice and colourful for kids. But um, adults, you might learn something as well. I've learned a few things. Um, I would be, like, the worst feminist in the world. Absolutely worst. Because I didn't know half of this stuff, and I don't know. I'm not a big fan of uh, men hating. A lot of feminists do a lot of good, but we do get a lot of feminists that are on the internet that are just man-haters, and those ones need to calm down. You're not helping the cause. So, um, I'd probably give it, yeah, 9 out of 10. It's good. 
Uh, it's not really a bedtime book. It's more of a book that you, if you want to teach them something, get their brains working. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it anyway. She sure enjoyed it. She liked um, Mary Curie the most because of the x-rays. So yeah. Anywho, take care. Have a nice day. Bye.